Well, in a global context of divergence in terms of growth and inflation, and in a context of geopolitical tensions and election cycles, as well as energy pressure points, investors should really look out for entry points or buying opportunities. Why? One, we will be in a year of peaking rates. This will allow companies with strong balance sheets and management teams to gain versus their competitors and for quality disruptors to thrive. Two, a year also of more AI advances, which will underpin future long-term growth support in many parts of the world. But the key to navigating disruption and take advantage of it is a strong portfolio construction and diversification process which that I call plainly the pyramid. At the base of the pyramid, a really diverse multi-factor strategy. In the middle, quality, growth, value, income. And at the top, high conviction in themes such as climate change, climate transition, cyber, artificial intelligence, AI, and generally global sustainability. Well, in markets where investors are currently capitulating, and those markets are selling at very low valuations despite potential strong drivers of growth, such as China. Also areas with specific sectors of transformations like industrials and tech at the right price, of course. And third, quality. Over 70% of companies in Europe and the US, for example, benefit from higher rates. They are mostly in the large cap area versus the small cap, but those are areas of opportunities for investors. Well, actually, in equities, we like disruption. It's giving us a lot of fertile hunting ground, if you want, to look for treasure. The goal that we're looking for, i.e. long-term investment opportunities, well, of course, what we need to do in volatility is avoid the volcanoes or avoid the torpedoes. So if I think of the opportunities in Asia, there are many, but are four distinct areas that I think really need our attention. The first one is in tech. End-to-end -end IP in Taiwan AI, for example, in Japan for semiconductor manufacturers, equipment like wafers. Two, geopolitical tensions have led to a China plus one strategy for many multinational companies. That has benefited Indonesia, India, Vietnam, and many other countries in the region. Three, growth in wealth and middle class, opportunities for financial products, insurance, and many other products. Four, sustainability, end-to-end -end green supply chain like in EV in China, and many other products.